So in class today, guys, we talked about identifying statistical questions. So for homework tonight, you have 12 questions that you need to read over, and you need to determine if they are a statistical question or if they are a non-statistical question. So I'm just going to run through some of the things we talked about in class to um, just help you refresh your memory on what makes a question statistical versus what makes it non-statistical. So when we talk about statistical versus non-statistical, we want to know, can that question be answered with statistics? So statistics are needed to solve questions if the subject investigating has variability. We talked about today in class that variability means differences in data. So if, we're, um, if the question can be answered with statistics, we're going to get lots and lots and lots of different answers. So variability, like I said, um, refers to the extent in which things differ. If a question produces variability, so if they produce lots of different answers or a variety of answers, then that question is statistical. So some examples of statistical questions are um, how tall are the students in math class? If we measured each and every single one of you guys, we would have lots of different heights. <clears throat> Therefore, it produces a variety of different answers. Um, a meteorologist measures the weather every single day. How many rainy days are there in each month? We know that if we go through every single month of the year, it's going to have a different number of rainy days. We're going to have differences in the data. Um, a car dealer has 45 cars for sale. How much does the dealer charge for each car? If we look at an entire car lot, um, each car is going to have a different price on it. Therefore, we're going to have lots and lots of different answers. What are the scores on the last math test? If we take all of the scores on the last math test, each student's going to have a different score. So we're going to have a variety of answers. Therefore, all of those questions are statistical questions because they produce a lot of different answers. Um, examples of non-statistical questions are questions like, for example, how tall is Mary? Mary is 5'4". That's one answer, not a variety of answers. Therefore, it's not statistical. Um, how many rainy days were in March of 2015 in Danville, Kentucky? Well, if we wanted to, we could look that up and we could say in March of 2015 in Danville, there were 13 rainy days. That's one answer, not statistical. How much does the dealer charge for the 2015 Dodge Ram on the lot? We can answer that in one answer. The dealer charges $35,000. One answer, not statistical. What was Jason's score on the last math test? Jason scored an 80. Okay, one answer, non-statistical. So um, in class today, we came up with a rule to kind of determine if a question was statistical or if it was non-statistical. And that rule is if the question can produce multiple answers or a variety of answers, then it is statistical. Okay, if a question only produces one answer, then it's not statistical. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to use that rule on your homework. Okay, I want you to go through, I want you to read the question to yourself and determine does it have multiple answers or a variety of answers or does it only have one answer? And then you'll label that question statistical or non-statistical. Now remember we talked about in class today, you still got to write those answers down on a sheet of paper. Write the full word out, don't abbreviate, um, and then you're going to submit those answers on Google Classroom. All right, good luck.